welcome back in this module we will discuss continuous random variable part 4 standard normal distribution the objectives of this module are to know standard normal distribution to understand the properties of standard normal random variable to study the characteristics of normal distribution using standard normal conversion to familiarize with standard normal table for finding normal probabilities to solve application problems using standard normal distribution standard normal distribution a normal distribution with mean mu equal to 0 and standard deviation sigma equal to 1 is called a standard normal distribution when x follows standard normal distribution f of x equal to 1 by root 2 pi into e raised to minus x square divided by 2 for minus infinity less than x less than infinity it is denoted as the graph is moment generating function when x following normal mu sigma we have mxt equal to e raised to mu t plus 1 by 2 into t square sigma square hence for a random variable x following normal 0 1 mxt equal to e raised to 0 into t plus 1 by 2 into t square into 1 square that is equal to e raised to t square divided by 2 when x following normal mu sigma y equal to x minus mu divided by sigma follows standard normal distribution proof if x follow normal mu sigma we have mxt equal to e raised to mu t plus 1 by 2 into t square sigma square then m y t equal to m x minus mu divided by sigma of t that is equal to e raised to minus mu by sigma into t into mx of t by sigma that is equal to e raised to minus mu by sigma into t into e raised to mu into t by sigma plus 1 by 2 into t by sigma the whole square into sigma square that is equal to e raised to t square by 2 this is the mgf of standard normal distribution hence y equal to x minus mu by sigma follows standard normal distribution standard normal curve is symmetric about mu equal to 0 Hence, the areas under standard normal curve from 0 to infinity and from minus infinity to 0 are 0 0.5 each. A table showing the area under standard normal curve from 0 to z is available for different values of z. Quartile deviation of normal distribution. Let x following normal mu sigma. Then the PDF f of x equal to 1 by root 2 pi into sigma into e raised to minus of x minus mu all square by 2 sigma square for minus infinity less than x less than plus infinity. We have quartile deviation q equal to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 where q3 is the third and q1 is the first quartile. Integral from minus infinity to q1 of f of x dx is equal to 1 by 4 let it be 1 and integral from minus infinity to q3 f of x dx is equal to 3 by 4 let it be 2 1 implies integral from minus infinity to q1 1 by root 2 pi into sigma e raised to minus of x minus mu all square by 2 sigma square dx is equal to 1 by 4 put x minus mu by sigma equal to u this implies dx equal to sigma du then this implies integral from minus infinity to q1 minus mu by sigma 1 by root 2 pi e raised to minus u square by 2 du equal to 1 by 4 that is the area under the standard normal curve from minus infinity to q1 minus mu by sigma is 1 by 4. It is shown as shaded in the figure. From standard normal table, we get the area from 0 to 0 0.6475 is 1 by 4. Hence, because of the symmetry of standard normal curve about 0, we get q1 minus mu by sigma equal to minus 0 0.6745 that is q1 equal to minus 0 0.6745 sigma plus mu equation number 2 implies integral from minus infinity to q3 1 by root 2 pi sigma into e raised to minus of x minus mu all square by 2 sigma square dx is equal to 3 by 4 put x minus mu by sigma equal to u implies dx equal to sigma du then this implies integral from minus infinity to q3 minus mu by sigma of 1 by root 2 pi e raised to minus u square by 2 du equal to 3 by 4 that is the area under the standard normal curve 
from minus infinity to q3 minus mu by sigma is 3 by 4. From the table of standard normal curve, we get q3 minus mu by sigma equal to 0 0.6745. That is q3 equal to 0 0.6745 sigma plus mu. This implies q equal to 0 0.6745 sigma plus mu minus minus 0 0.6745 sigma plus mu all divided by 2 that is equal to 0 0.6745 sigma d movier laplace theorem a random variable follow binomial distribution with parameters n and p binomial np tends to normal np root npq as n becomes large provided neither p nor q is very small proof when we are saying that binomial np tends to normal np root npq we mean that the probability of binomial np variable between any two values a and b is almost same as the probability of a normal np root npq variable between the numbers a and b let x follows binomial np then we have mxt equal to q plus p e raised to t the all raised to n let y equal to x minus np divided by root of npq then myt equal to mx minus np divided by root of npq of t that is equal to e raised to minus npt divided by root npq into q plus p e raised to t by root of npq the all raised to n taking logarithm on both sides logarithm of myt equal to minus npt divided by root of npq plus n into logarithm of q plus p e raised to t by root of npq that is equal to minus npt divided by root of npq plus n log q plus p into 1 plus t by root of npq plus t square by 2 into npq plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2 that is equal to minus npt divided by root of npq plus n into logarithm of 1 plus pt divided by root npq plus t square by 2 nq plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2 where order of n raised to 3 by 2 denotes terms involving n raised to 3 by 2 and its higher powers in denominator which tends to 0 as n become very large. We have log of 1 plus x equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus etc. Then logarithm of myt equal to npt divided by root of npq plus n into pt divided by root of npq plus t square by 2 nq plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2 minus n by 2 into pt divided by root npq plus t square by nq plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2 the all square plus etc. This implies logarithm of myt equal to t square by 2q minus pt square by 2q plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2. That is equal to t square minus p t square all divided by 2q plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2. That is equal to t square by 2 plus order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2. As n become very large, order of 1 by n raised to 3 by 2 tends to 0. Then as n become very large, we get log myt equal to t square by 2. That is myt equal to e raised to t square by 2. This implies y follows normal 0 1 that is x minus np divided by root npq follows normal 0 1. This implies x follows normal with parameters np and root npq. Problem 1 x follow normal 12 4 find number 1 probability of x greater than or equal to 20. Number 2, probability of 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 12. Number 3, find A such that probability of x greater than A equal to 0 0.24. Solution. Number 1, given x follow a normal 12 4, then 
z equal to x minus 12 divided by 4 follows standard normal. Probability of x greater than or equal to 20 equal to probability of x minus 12 divided by 4 greater than or equal to 20 minus 12 divided by 4. That is equal to probability of z greater than or equal to 2 where z follow standard normal. Required area is shown in the figure. From the table of standard normal distribution we get probability of 0 less than z less than 2 equal to 0 0.4772. We know probability of 0 less than z less than infinity equal to 0 0.5. Therefore, P of Z greater than or equal to 2 equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4772 that is equal to 0 0.0228 that is probability of X greater than or equal to 20 equal to 0 0.0228. Number 2, probability of 0 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 12 equal to probability of 0 minus 12 divided by 4 less than or equal to x minus 12 divided by 4 less than or equal to 12 minus 12 divided by 4. That is equal to probability of minus 3 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 where z follow standard normal. Since standard normal curve is symmetric about 0, probability of minus 3 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 equal to probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 3. The area is shown in the figure. From standard normal table, probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 3 equal to 0 0.4987. This implies probability of 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 12 equal to 0 0.4987. Number 3. Given probability of x greater than a equal to 0 0.24. This implies probability of x minus 12 divided by 4 greater than a minus 12 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.24. This implies probability of z greater than a minus 12 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.24 where z follows standard normal. Probability of z greater than 0 equal to 0 0.5. Hence, Probability of 0 less than z less than a minus 12 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.24 that is equal to 0 0.26. The area is shaded in the figure. From standard normal table, it can be seen that probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.71 equal to 0 0.26. This implies a minus 12 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.71. This implies a equal to 14.84. Problem 2. The marks obtained by a number of students for certain subjects are assumed to be normally distributed with mean 50 and standard deviation 5. If 4 students are taken at random from this set, what is the probability that Exactly 2 of them will have marks over 60. Solution. Let capital X denote the marks obtained by the students. Given X follows normal 55. The probability of student among the set to have mark over 60 is probability of X greater than 60. Probability of x greater than 60 equal to probability of z equal to x minus 50 by 5 greater than 60 minus 50 by 5 where z follow n01. Hence, probability of x greater than 60 equal to probability of z greater than 2. The area under normal curve is shaded as from standard normal table probability of z greater than 2 equal to 0 0.0228. Hence, the probability of a student among the set to have mark over 60 is equal to 0 0.0228. Let y denote the number of students with marks over 60 in the set of 4 students selected. Probability that exactly 2 of them will have marks over 60 equal to probability of y equal to 2. It can be inferred that y follows binomial with parameters 4 and 0 0.0228. Probability of y equal to 2 equal to 4c2 
0 0.0228 the whole square into 1 minus 0 0.0228 the whole square that is equal to 0 0.003 problem 3 for a normally distributed population 7 percentage of the items have their value less than 35 and 87 percentage have their value less than 63 find the mean and standard deviation of the distribution solution let x denote the value of the item and let x following normal mu sigma given 7 percentage of the items are less than 35 that is probability of x less than 35 equal to 0 0.07 let it be number 1 also given 87 percentage of the items are less than 63 that is probability of x less than 63 equal to 0 0.87 let it be number 2 number 1 implies probability of x minus mu by sigma less than 35 minus mu by sigma equal to 0 0.07 and number 2 implies probability of x minus mu by sigma less than 63 minus mu by sigma equal to 0 0.87 where z equal to x minus mu by sigma follow standard normal. The areas are shaded as shown. From standard normal table, probability of 0 less than z less than 1.48 equal to 0 0.43. This implies probability of z greater than 1.48 equal to 0 0.07. Since standard normal curve is symmetric about 0. This implies probability of z less than minus 1.48 equal to 0 0.07. Again, probability of 0 less than z less than 1.13 equal to 0 0.37. This implies probability of z less than 1.13 equal to 0 0.87. Hence, we get 35 minus mu by sigma equal to minus 1.48 and 63 minus mu by sigma equal to 1.13. Solving this, we get mu equal to 50.88 and sigma equal to 10.73. Problem 4. If x is a normal random variable with mean 6 and variance 49 and if probability of 3x plus 8 less than or equal to lambda equal to probability of 4x minus 7 greater than or equal to mu and probability of 5x minus 2 less than or equal to mu equal to probability of 2x plus 1 greater than or equal to lambda find lambda and mu given x follow normal 6 7 probability of 3x plus 8 less than or equal to lambda equal to probability of 4x minus 7 greater than or equal to mu this implies probability of x less than or equal to lambda minus 8 divided by 3 equal to probability of x greater than or equal to mu plus 7 divided by 4 let it be equation number 1 probability of 5x minus 2 less than or equal to mu equal to probability of 2x plus 1 greater than or equal to lambda this implies probability of x less than or equal to mu plus 2 divided by 5 equal to probability of x greater than or equal to lambda minus 1 divided by 2 let it be equation number 2 since x follow normal 6, 7, z equal to x minus 6 divided by 7 follow standard normal. Equation number 1 implies probability of x minus 6 divided by 7 less than or equal to lambda minus 8 by 3 minus 6 by 7 equal to probability of x minus 6 by 7 greater than or equal to mu plus 7 by 4 minus 6 by 7. This implies probability of z less than or equal to lambda minus 26 divided by 21 equal to probability of z greater than or equal to mu minus 17 divided by 28. For standard normal curve, if probability of z less than or equal to a equal to probability of z greater than or equal to b, then a equal to minus b. So, lambda minus 26 divided by 21 equal to minus of mu minus 17 by 28 this implies 4 lambda plus 3 mu minus 155 equal to 0 let it be equation number 3 equation number 2 implies probability of x minus 6 by 7 less than or equal to mu plus 2 by 5 minus 6 by 7 equal to probability of 
x minus 6 by 7 greater than or equal to lambda minus 1 by 2 minus 6 by 7. This implies probability of z less than or equal to mu minus 28 by 35 equal to probability of z greater than or equal to lambda minus 13 by 14. This implies mu minus 28 by 35 equal to minus of lambda minus 13 by 14. This implies 5 lambda plus 2 mu minus 121 equal to 0. Let it be equation number 4. Solving 3 and 4 we get lambda equal to 7.57 and mu equal to 41.571. Problem 5. If x is a random variable distributed as standard normal, show that y equal to x square has gamma distribution with parameters 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Solution. Let capital G of y be the distribution function of y. G of y equal to probability of y less than or equal to y that is equal to probability of x square less than or equal to y that is probability of minus root y less than or equal to x less than or equal to plus root y that is equal to probability of x less than or equal to root y minus probability of x less than or equal to minus root y. This implies g of y equal to capital F x of root y minus capital F x of minus root y. The PDF of y small g of y equal to d by dy of capital G of y. Then small g of y equal to small f x of root y into 1 by 2 root y minus small f x of minus root y into minus 1 by 2 root y where small f is the PDF of standard normal. Then g of y equal to 1 by root 2 pi into e raised to minus y by 2 into 1 by 2 root y plus 1 by root of 2 pi into e raised to minus y by 2 into 1 by 2 root y. That is equal to 1 by root of 2 pi into e raised to minus y by 2 into y raised to minus 1 by 2. This implies g of y equal to 1 by 2 the all raised to 1 by 2 e raised to minus y by 2 y raised to minus 1 by 2 for y greater than 0. Hence, y follow gamma distribution with parameters 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Problem 6. Find c if probability of x less than or equal to c is equal to 2 times probability of x greater than or equal to c, where x follow normal mu sigma. Solution. Given x follow normal mu sigma, and probability of x less than or equal to c equal to 2 times probability of x greater than or equal to c. This implies probability of x less than or equal to c divided by probability of x greater than c equal to 2 by 1. This implies probability of x less than or equal to c divided by probability of x greater than c plus probability of x greater than c divided by probability of x greater than c equal to 2 by 1 plus 1 by 1. This implies probability of x less than or equal to c plus probability of x greater than c all divided by probability of x greater than c equal to 3 divided by 1. This implies 1 divided by probability of x greater than c equal to 3 by 1. This implies 1 by probability of x greater than c equal to 3 by 1. This implies probability of x greater than c equal to 1 by 3. Let it be equation number 1. Z equal to x minus mu by sigma follow standard normal. Equation number 1 implies probability of x minus mu by sigma greater than c minus mu by sigma equal to 1 by 3. This implies probability of z greater than c minus mu by sigma equal to 1 by 3. From the table of standard normal distribution, probability of z greater than 0 0.44 equal to 1 by 3. Hence, c minus mu by sigma equal to 0 0.44. This implies c equal to 0 0.44 sigma plus mu. A discussion on standard normal distribution is made in this module. The method of finding normal probabilities using statistical table on standard normal distribution are illustrated through examples. De Movier Laplace theorem is explained 
and some characteristics of normal distribution are explored by standard normal transformation. The relation between standard normal and gamma distribution is also shown. Try to answer the following questions. X is normally distributed variable with mean mu equal to 30 and standard deviation sigma equal to 4. Find A. Probability of X less than 45. B. Probability of 15 less than X less than 21. C. Probability of X greater than 30. If X and Y are independent normal variates possessing a common mean mu such that probability of 2x plus 4y less than 10 plus probability of 3x plus y less than 9 equal to 1 and probability of 2x minus 4y less than 6 plus probability of y minus 3x greater than 1 equal to 1 determine the values of mu and the ratio of the variances of x and y. If x and y are independent normal variates with mean 5,7 and variances 9,16 respectively determine lambda such that probability of 2x plus y less than lambda equal to probability of 4x minus 3y greater than 4 lambda. Hope you enjoyed this session. See you next time. Until then, goodbye.